Join us for an inspirational message with Steve Wolberg on His Voice Today. This is a kale plant from my garden. At least it was a healthy kale plant, but as you can see, it's been cut off. Uh, I don't know if you can see this, but this is a worm. This is called a cutworm, and I picked both of these out of my garden this morning. Uh, I've been doing battle with these worms. Uh, thankfully, I've learned to plant enough plants to factor in some attrition. But anyway, I went out this morning and saw that this plant had been cut off, and that's what these worms do. They come out at night, they creep along the soil, and they find the little plants that are growing, and they crawl up, and then they just eat right through, and that's the end of the plant. And uh, when this program is over, that worm will meet his demise. Uh, this reminds me of Matthew chapter 5, verse 30, where Jesus said, If your right hand offends you, cut it off and cast it from you, for it is profitable for you that one of your members should perish, and not that your whole body should be cast into hell. The Bible is very clear that if we have any sin in our lives, that we really need to not be kind to that sin, not to be merciful to that sin, not to embrace it, but to cut it off and to get it out of our lives, because that sin can destroy us. Just like that little worm has destroyed uh, at least one of my plants and, and maybe others. And so may God impress you with the words of Jesus Christ, that if there's sin in your life, ask Jesus to help you to cut it out, to get rid of it, because that sin could lead you into the lake of fire. Uh, do what I'm gonna do to that worm and ask Jesus to take all sin out of your life and to prepare you for heaven. If you enjoyed this short devotional with Steve Wolberg, you can hear more messages online at hisvoicetoday.com.